Los Angeles has long been known for smog, but scientists say climate change is creating a new era of dirty air. Well, that's not a good thing. KCAL climatologist Marina Jurka joins us to talk about the shift we're seeing and how it's impacting our health. Sheba and Jamie, it's not just smog from emissions that's getting into our air. Wildfire smoke, urban fire pollution, and extreme heat are all reshaping what we breathe. This is a smoke signal to humanity as we move forward in our warming world. For decades, Los Angeles has topped the list as the smoggiest city in the U.S., but now climate change is fueling a new kind of pollution. From toxic urban wildfires to heat-driven ozone and smoke that can travel thousands of miles. We're seeing that air quality is highly affected by climate change and more specifically by wildfires. When homes and businesses burn, they release carcinogens, far more dangerous than forest smoke. We're looking at electronic materials uh, being burned, plastic, lead-based paint. So these are all high-level toxicants. They're cancer-causing on the, on the highest level. And these pollutants don't just stay here. Smoke can travel across the continents, choking skies in its path. Extreme heat and high pressure domes are literally trapping pollution in place. And climate change is making these events occur more commonly and with more intensity. Heat domes, they basically supercharge ground level ozone, which is the main ingredient in smog. So this gives us more days when the air is unhealthy for us to breathe. Air quality can change block by block. Freeway adjacent neighborhoods often register pollution levels levels 10 to 15 points higher than communities just a mile away. And in some areas, there are fewer sensors, making it harder to track. So you've got what's called your hyper local pockets. In some areas, especially marginalized areas, they actually have less monitoring. Experts that's say there are steps right. we can exactly. all take, but in a warming climate, they say now is not the time to lower the bar on regulations. We breathe on average 30,000 times a day. So when we do the math, our air quality is so much more important than we actually think. The steps that we've taken to understand the scientific system of things, it's been tremendous. And unfortunately, that funding is, is truly being cut. It's going to take us decades to really get back on track. From communities to individuals, there are ways to protect yourself in this new air quality crisis. The biggest contributor to air pollution is the choice that we make uh, to use pers our personal vehicles. City planners can help to develop and build communities that are truly walkable. The next real big step is to remove our dependency on fossil fuels. That's what's needed in order for us to have good air quality, not just for our generation, but for generations to come. As the climate warms, we're not just talking about hotter days. We are entering into a new era of dirty air. Air pollution kills more people globally per year than smoking. That's thousands of deaths right here in California. And protecting yourself begins with awareness. Every time you head outdoors, check what the air quality is and make sure to take the steps inside your home to make sure that the air is clean. Because in Southern California, just because it's clear skies doesn't mean it's clean air. Marina Jurica, KCAL News. And Paul, we've talked about this many times. Basically, a warming climate and a warming world is shifting weather patterns. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing prolonged drought now. And then when we do see rain, it's a lot more intense. It seems like everything's getting more, everything's more er. It's wetter. When it's wet, it's drier. When it's dry, it's hotter. When it's hot. How important, Marina, is rain right now? Because fire season last year was crazy because it didn't rain. Right, it didn't rain all fall. And so it's critical that we get some of this early fall going into winter rainstorms. And what we're seeing right now is a lot more tropical moisture, which is really good for us. But it's also another sign of a warming world that we're getting more of this tropical moisture moving up from the south. And we're getting that coming hopefully, up. <laughs> hopefully we'll get some this week yes. by like Friday. That would help. So the fire danger hopefully will go down. Marina, yes. awesome story. Thank, Thank you so you. much for that.